All right, so today we're diving into two essential concepts in physics, instantaneous and average speed and velocity. These terms describe how fast something is moving, but they each provide unique insights into motion, helping us understand everything from a runner's pace to the flight path of an airplane. Let's start with instantaneous speed. This is like taking a snapshot of motion at a specific moment in time. It tells us exactly how fast an object is moving right now, giving us a precise picture of its speed at that particular instant. For example, if you check the speedometer of a car or glance at your running watch, you're seeing your instantaneous speed, how fast you're going at that exact moment. On the other hand, average speed gives you the bigger picture. It's calculated by taking the total distance you've traveled and dividing it by the total time it took to cover that distance. So even if you're speeding up, slowing down, or stuck in traffic, your average speed will summarize your journey by averaging out those changes. Now let's add direction into the mix and talk about velocity. While speed only tells us how fast an object is moving, velocity is a vector quantity, meaning it includes both speed and direction. Here's where things get interesting. Imagine you run three miles in a loop and end up back where you started. Your average speed might be three miles per hour, but your average velocity would be zero because there's no net change in your position you're right back where you began. When an object moves with uniform motion, meaning it maintains a constant speed and direction, its instantaneous velocity is equal to its average velocity. But most real-world motion is non-uniform, with constant changes in speed or direction. In stop-and-go traffic, for example, the car's instantaneous velocity is constantly changing as it brakes, accelerates, and turns, but the average velocity will tell you how far the car actually traveled in a straight line from start to finish. Both instantaneous and average measurements are important. Instantaneous speed, or velocity, gives us a detailed look at a specific moment in motion, while average speed, or velocity, helps us summarize the entire journey. These two perspectives help us analyze the complexities of motion, whether it's understanding the varying pace of a runner or capturing the overall flight path of a plane, both are crucial for an accurate understanding of movement. So to recap, instantaneous speed and velocity give us a snapshot of motion at any given moment, while average speed and velocity provide a big picture summary of the entire journey. Understanding the differences between these concepts allows us to describe and analyze motion with precision. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed learning about the differences between speed and velocity, Make sure to subscribe and check out kingofthecurve.org for more in-depth resources to help you master these concepts and apply them to real-world scenarios. See you next time.